Welcome to week one of Inspiration Over Lunch. Now this is, is what you signed up for after you went to my event last week. And the goal here is to provide you with six inspirational videos over the course of the next six weeks to keep you out of the weeds, to, to help you think about your business in some new and inspiring ways. And this week I'm going to talk about maintaining consumer momentum. Now this is the reason I put together these six inspirational videos. I started evaluating the, the consumer momentum of the people that I spoke to. So let me talk to you about consumer momentum specifically and something I call the consumer momentum curve. Now you can think of it as the guitar hero curve, okay? You know the video game guitar hero where you play along with a video game guitar and and you can sing or play play you know garage band those those kinds of games are a really good gauge of consumer momentum and consumer momentum this chart here you're looking at enthusiasm on the y uh, axis and time on the x axis and when i ordered guitar hero as soon as I placed that order, I was so excited to get the game in my living room and the anticipation started to build. So Amazon was sending me this box and I was really excited to get it. And as the anticipation grew for that, that box to arrive, I started telling my friends, hey, the box is gonna be here on Friday, come on over, we'll play Guitar Hero, we're gonna have a great time, right? That box arrives on my front doorstep and I'm enthusiastic beyond belief. And I move into the next phase of the consumer momentum curve. I move into what's called the honeymoon phase, all right? So now I've got the box, I set it up in my living room, and I can't wait to play. I get some beer, I get my friends, they all come over, and for the next day, we play Guitar Hero, we go through every song, we have a blast, right? Now, this goes on for a couple of weeks, I invite people over, the new people that come over, I'm so excited to show them my new Guitar Hero setup right in front of the TV, but then you move slowly into what I call the inspiration phase, and my enthusiasm for the product slowly diminishes over time, and I need more and more inspiration to get out the game, right? My wife says, you gotta move that out of the living room, you don't play it anymore, so I move it into the dining room in the corner, and if, if somebody's gonna play, I gotta bring it out, and that takes a lot of work. I need inspiration. I, if a friend calls and says, hey, I wanna come over and play Guitar Hero, that's the inspiration I need to take it out of the dining room and put it in the living room and play again and then put it away, right? But at some point, that inspiration phase, phase and, the, and the power you need to inspire someone to play with that new toy again, comes I, you know, very rarely, and it's also a really big barrier to entry. And that's when your product, your service, your interaction has moved into what I call the relegation phase. They've forgotten about you, right? That's when Guitar Hero has been in the basement for three months, I forgot about it. Next time I go down there, I say, you know what, I'm gonna put it on Craigslist, I don't play this game anymore. So these are the phases of the consumer momentum curve. There's anticipation for it, there's the honeymoon period, the inspiration phase where you need to be inspired to use it, and relegation. And that's what's happened since you left the conference. You're at the very end of the honeymoon period, right? You had, your anticipation for going to the event was really huge. You went to the event, you loved it, you learned lots of new stuff. You can't wait to get back and, and, and do some new things and implement some new ideas with the team. But now you're back in the weeds and the day-to-day -day is taking over and you're gonna need some real inspiration to keep thinking outside of the box and really thinking about your business in a new way. I can't let you get to the relegation phase or else none of the things I told you or anyone else told you are actually going to make an impact. So why I, what I want you to do is just think about your business, your clients, your customers, your audience, whoever you service, and I want you to ask yourself how you can extend that inspiration phase. As soon as that honeymoon phase, phase is over, what can you do? This is one of the biggest opportunities in marketing and sales and audience development. You've got to think about extending that inspiration phase. What kind of content can you create and build on that relationship you have with a new customer or client to actually get them to take out your product or talk about it or invite friends to participate with you. How can you capitalize on that honeymoon phase? For as short it is as it is, you've got to really find ways to leverage that honeymoon phase to your advantage. That's when people are most likely to recommend you or give you a great review or, or, uh, or even after my speech, right? I've got to ask immediately, what did you think of it? And what data do you have that can help heighten and share that anticipation phase for the product or service or event that you're putting together. If you're a publisher, you've gotta start thinking about what you're doing to heighten anticipation for the content you're going to publish. Like, do, do your journalists actually show their work outside of your platform? If they did an interview today for an article that's gonna appear a week from now, can they actually share parts of that article uh, and part of that interview on a social platform to, to, to build anticipation 
for what's going to be published. And instead of releasing all your media assets at once, if you have pictures and multiple videos or audio clips, why can't you extend that inspiration phase for the content you've just created or just published by leveraging that additional media? What are you doing to set an appointment with your audience to re-engage in anticipation of the next piece by that journalist or that uh, in that uh, content format? These are the things you've got to start thinking about this week. Marketers, if you're an agency person or you're a marketer for a brand, I want you to think about what you're doing the minute the client or customer engages with you to heighten anticipation of your meeting or your product arriving. What are you doing and what are you creating or what are you sending to them that makes them want it even more? And have you leveraged digital and social media to gauge how long that honeymoon phase lasts? Do you even know how long people are interested in what you serve? So let's say you're a restaurateur. You're only as good as the last meal someone had. I can't remember what I had for dinner three days ago, but last night I know where I went and I'm more likely to recommend people go there if I'm thinking about it. And what kind of content can you create that prolongs that inspiration for the product and service you provide? Can you actually come up with ways that help people think about that? So this week at your dry erase board, I want you to start just draw a blank consumer momentum curve and then start charting your own clients or customers consumer momentum curve and then start thinking of ways you can actually extend that honeymoon period, uh, provide inspiration and then build anticipation. If you're in the relegation phase, it is too late. You've got to avoid that. So this week, think about those kinds of things. So that's week one. I hope you've enjoyed inspiration over lunch. I'm going to send you another one next week and hopefully you'll stay inspired and thinking out of the weeds.